impressive view, yes. Has Spyrite technology been perfected in this dimension? It has, and you perfected it eight years ago. I see. But then, I killed you. <sighs> Why in the world would you do that? I didn't stop at Jude either. I killed you in this dimension as well. Alvin, Leia, and even Elise. I killed you all. You tried to stop me from killing Beasley. Even Julius took your side. Beasley made a grave mistake when he tried to take L from me. I'll ask you again. What are you plotting? I simply wish to live in peace with the real L. But that will never happen as long as he exists. <laughs> Victor, don't tell me you're... A fractured version of Luger? Exactly. I'm the future version of you, and now I shall become... a real you! Hey, what's everybody doing here? Go back inside, honey. We're just having a little talk. Daddy! <laughs> No need to be frightened, El. <sighs> if we go to the land of Canaan, I can make this all go away, I promise. You and I can live happily ever after, El. We really can? It is! <gasps> And I will make it happen! I'll make a wish to the Spirit Origin to start my life over again! And Elle will be with me, of course. Reborn as my daughter in the Prime Dimension. I'll be... reborn? That makes no sense! You'll be different people! But we will still be together! Daddy! Everything will be fine. We'll make brand new memories. <sighs> Come here. This time, Mommy will be with us, too. No. I don't want that! No! <laughs> El. <laughs> into this dimension, to trade places with him, using your own daughter. Yes, I knew El would bring Luger to me. After all, I am the final way marker. What kind of monster manipulates his own daughter like this? What the hell do you know? What in the... Killed my father and brother for this power. No fear. Wait for me. All in this. <laughs> Know the power of a full chromatic behold for destroyer it cannot be on sight focus igneous Right here! Right here! 
Sorry. We had no choice. <laughs> My body. Daddy. Damn. I'm already out of time. Listen, Luker. There is a limit to how much you can use your power. A limit? Wait. Does that mean... You've become a divergence catalyst? All power comes with a price to pay. That's just the way it is. <laughs> you see? So that's why you chose to be reborn. 
Luger! What are you going to choose? Please, take care of Vel. Open the path to Canaan. Complete Origins trial. Gods! She's becoming a catalyst. But why would something like that even happen? Unless the power really is within L. <clears throat> We're not going to figure this out here. Let's find a room in Drellin. This must be so hard for Luga. And there's nothing we can do. Even the Lord of Spirits is powerless to help. Elves becoming a divergence catalyst? I don't understand how this could happen. According to Victor, becoming a divergence catalyst is the price for using the clan's power beyond a certain limit. If El is the daughter of Luger from a fractured dimension, that would make her part of the Kresnik family. But she doesn't even seem to have access to Chromatis powers. Hmm. Jude, you started to say something about this earlier. Do you remember what that was? I do. The pocket watch is the key to manifesting the Chromatis, right? But when Luger first transformed into his Chromatis, it was L that was holding the watch. So Luger has been using L as a conduit for his power. Do you remember how Luger couldn't transform into his Chromatis when we first met the other Mila? That's because El wasn't with us then. So then El has been paying the price for Luger's use of the power. But it goes without saying that Luger had no way of knowing this. Still, there was no way for any of us to know of this. I'm sorry, Luger. There's no need to apologize. Who could have possibly guessed that the Chromatis was linked to the Catalysts like this? Elle's not doing so good. Is the catalyst sickening her? No, she's been traumatized. I mean, she just saw her father... <laughs> oh, sorry. I know it's not like you had a choice in the matter. Mm. 
Is it spurious? Luger. We've confirmed the retrieval of the final way marker. Please proceed to Rize Harbor in Marksburg immediately. What's the plan? We'll depart tomorrow. Tonight we should rest. A wise course of action. You must be starving, right? Luger made us some tasty soup. No. I don't want it! I only want my daddy's soup and this isn't it! It's never gonna be right, just like you're never gonna be my daddy! I want my daddy! Why'd you have to do that to him? Are you okay? Are you... <laughs> It'll heal in no time. Wait, you're gonna make more? <laughs> but... Do whatever you need to do. I'll help, if that's all right. Your arm is still injured. All done? I'm sorry that I can't do more for you. I'm just happy knowing that a future like that might even be in the cards. It helps me believe I can do it. I can perfect Spyrite technology. <laughs> I was trying to cheer you up, but here you are making me feel better. You know, I think she'll understand someday. It's good. Luger, I, I ran away because I realized something. When somebody leaves you, when they disappear, you never get to taste their cooking again. cooking and no more of Mila's
Elle, are you okay? Luger, hey, do you have a moment? Sorry to pester you again, but... Wait, did you just say kill yourself? It's only money, Luger. Please don't tell me you're contemplating suicide! Sad as it is, even at times like this, the world still marches on. And considering our place in that world, we shouldn't expose Elle to any more danger. Rowan, can you find a safe place for Elle to stay while we see this through? I'll see what I can come up with. Are you leaving me behind because I'm a fake? Take her with us. Mr. Kresnik, could you verify your current whereabouts? As I mentioned in my text, we would like you to bring the waymarker to Riza Harbor in Marksburg at your earliest possible convenience. I am aware of your situation, Mr. Kresnik. However, I have a job to do. Were you a machine, I imagine this would be much easier for you. <clears throat> Regardless, please proceed to Rize Harbor in Marksburg with all due haste. the burn on your left hand. I understand exactly how Elle feels. I've been there myself. Everything I'd done had been rendered meaningless. And convinced of that, I began lashing out at the people who were important to me. You're speaking of when Mila died on the Zenithra. Yeah. Leia was worried sick and trying to take care of me. And I threw the food she made for me against the wall. I had no idea. I figured Leia wouldn't say anything. I was awful to her. But she persisted in trying to take care of me. That's the only reason I recovered at all. So please, keep looking after Elle. Do everything you can. Okay. <laughs> 